Now, y'all probably sitting there thinking, ah, I know which side is which. I know which is which, okay? So let's just go ahead in the comments below right now and let me know what side you think is which. Which one do you think is the Profusion $5 side? And which one do you think is the Colored Rain $50 side, okay? So let me know. Take a good look. <laughs> Welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to do a little experiment. This video is really more so for my benefit because I'm extremely curious, okay? I have, as you guys know, quite a few colorful or rainbow type palettes in my collection. Quite a few. It's very hard for me to pass one up when I see one, you know, pop up and it's like, hey, new colorful palette. It's very hard for me to say no. But I wanted to compare one of my extremely inexpensive colorful palettes to one of my more expensive colorful palettes. So the two palettes I'm comparing today is this Profusion Spectrum palette. Okay, as you can see, it is extremely colorful, very, very pretty, gorgeous rainbow palette, right? Very pretty. Guess how much I paid for this? $5. <laughs> on the Profusion website, okay? It's just so pretty. And I wanna compare it to my Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette, okay? You guys, if you know anything about this Colored Rain palette, you know that it is not cheap. This mug is $50. Of course, I got it on sale for half price when they had their half price blowout sale during the holidays. So I paid $25 for this. But when this mug is in stock, regular price is 50 smacks, okay? So 55. <laughs> $5, $50. So I want to compare these two. I'm not expecting them to perform anywhere near the same or to give me anywhere near as nice uh, eye look, you know, comparable to each other, okay? So I have never used the Profusion Spectrum palette before. Let me open this up. Y'all like, open it, girl. We can't even see the shades. I know, I know. I have used my Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette before, but I wasn't that impressed with it. It could have been, you know, the look I did or whatever, how I was feeling that day. Who knows? But I wasn't that impressed with it. So let's just talk about this for a minute. This palette has 16 shades. As you can see, there's a mirror, but I'm going to fold that back. But this palette has 16 beautiful rainbow shades in it. And the difference in this palette and open this palette up like I got some sense. The difference that you can just see right off the bat with these palettes is, of course, this one only has 10 shades. This one has 16. This one has more variations of blues and purples in it, but it's still just a basic rainbow colors. This one just has one variation of each rainbow color. And both of these palettes are all matte. There's no shimmers in either of these palettes, so it should be pretty easy for me to come up with a similar look. Maybe I'll use one of my Stila's or something to bling out my lid, but for the most part, they're both matte, so we're gonna go in and try and match up these colors as closely as possible. So what I'm going to do to start off, because since this one has more variations of greens or blues and purples, there's two greens in here, but basically a lot of blues and purples, I'm going to swatch my profusion shadows that I wanna use and try and match them up as closely to the colored rain as I possibly can. So let me do that first. Okay, so for the blue, this is the blue shade in the Profusion palette. So that's how she swatches. Kind of light, a little dusty, <laughs> but still a pretty color nonetheless. Now in the 
colored rain palette this is like the lightest blue and honestly i think this one is going to be the closest to the profusion yeah so as you can see there's a little difference in variation but that's the closest out of the three blues because the other two are a little too dark okay so this is the purple from the profusion not extremely pigmented at all but is what it is okay so that's what she looks like this is the purple from the colored rain that I feel is the closest so okay yeah that's pretty close more pigmented <laughs> but pretty close okay so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna want to use the pink out of the profusion as well so this is the profusion pink not too bad not too bad and this is the only pink in the colored rain Ooh, okay a little bit darker but it's gonna have to do so this shade is what i would consider the red from the profusion it's kind of like a really really dark pink but it has a red tone to it so that's the profusion this is the red from the colored rain Yeah, so you can see it's more of that just real true tomato red from the colored rain. This is the yellow from the profusion. Kind of dry, kind of patchy, but there's pigment there. Definitely pigment there. This is the yellow from the colored rain. Okay, very, very nice. Very nicely pigment on that yellow. And they're pretty close. Now with the greens, as you can see, the two greens that are in the profusion are quite different than the two greens that are here in the colored rain. So I'm not sure if I'm going to even use the green because they're so different, but let me go ahead and just swatch the greens. Okay, this is the profusion, the light green. So that one is a very kind of like fluorescent type green, very, very bright. This is the green from the colored rain. So it truly is like a dark green, swatches horribly. <laughs> As you can see, it swatches very, very badly. Let me put on another coat. Yeah, it swatches terribly, but it's much, much darker than that light green, so I probably won't be using the green. Okay, so this is the orange from the Profusion. Ooh, that's weak. <laughs> Ooh, that is weak. Okay, so the orange is not looking too good for the Profusion right now. Very weak. This is the orange from the Colored Rain. Ooh, yeah, color rain definitely beat in the orange category for sure. Okay, and so lastly, let's just go ahead and swatch the browns because they both have a brown. So this is the brown from the Profusion. So it's not too bad. Nicely pigmented. Nice warm brown. And this is the brown from the colored rain. So that one is more kind of like a peachy brown, much, much lighter than the brown that is in the Profusion. Yeah, it's kind of like a peachy, more of a peachy shade. So those are the comparisons. They don't look too, too far apart except for the orange and the green. So we're probably going to stick to the pinks and the purples and the blues and the yellows. Let me go ahead and prep my eyelids with some MAC Soft Over Paint Pot and then we'll go ahead and get started. Oh, and I forgot to mention, for each palette, I will be using a separate set of perfectly clean brushes. I will not be mixing or contaminating or color switching any brushes.
So you saw the tutorial and you know by now that this side is in fact the profusion side and this side is the colored rain side, okay? So I'm curious to see, I can't wait to read the comments to see if you guys guessed correctly if there is a really strong difference in the pigment on my eyes because honestly, after using these two palettes, <laughs> I'm shocked. I really didn't expect the Profusion palette to work as well as it did. I mean, just the closeness in how the two eyes came out is just really shocking to me. I expected the Profusion to be very, very light, very kind of dusty, kind of hard to work with. You know, even though I like Profusion palettes, sometimes bright colors like these it's very very difficult to do and especially for five dollars but just seeing the pigment from this palette when I used it and how close it is to the colored rain it's just baffling to me now granted the colored rain is more pigmented you can see the colors are more vibrant they're richer they're deeper and I would expect that for fifty dollars okay they better be <laughs> so I'm not surprised at all about the colored rain eye looking a bit more colorful and vibrant. I am surprised that the profusion came so close to it though. Honestly, the only shadow that I will shadow that I really have a complaint about is the orange. You guys saw the orange is pretty weak in the profusion. That's the only shade that I have a complaint about. All the other shades are really gorgeous. Now, you'll notice I didn't use the green and that was only because the color difference is really, really huge with these palettes. This is like a bright neon green and this one is like a deep, dark, you know, it doesn't look that dark in the pan, but it's a true dark green. So that's why I didn't use the green in my look today because they're just way too different so anyway you guys honestly I feel like this was a great comparison I was extremely curious and this is my first time using this profusion spectrum palette and I'm very very pleased with it I really am so that's it you guys thank you so much for joining me in this fun little comparison of one of my extremely expensive palettes up against one of my extremely less expensive palettes and it was a lot of fun let me know down below what you guys think your opinions your thoughts if you want me to do more of these type of videos let me know that as well i had a lot of fun doing it and i mean i'm surprised i'm very surprised so anyways thanks so much for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles